What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to transfer your 3DS save files over to your AY and Thor or any other Android device without using a PC. So first, for some things that you're going to need, uh, an AY and Thor with Azahar as the 3DS emulator, as well as, of course, some 3DS games. And then you're going to need a modded 3DS. If your 3DS is not modded, link in the description of the tutorial that I followed so you can make sure that you have the right applications. So on the 3DS, we're going to need this FTPD uh, file transfer tool as well as Checkpoint. Starting on the 3DS, we're first going to open up Checkpoint and you're going to find the game that you want to back up. Now, if you're looking through this list and you don't see the game, you're going to go ahead and click X for X data. There's going to be a different list of games here. When you're on the screen and you find your game, we're going to be using Fantasy Life for this example. You're just going to go ahead and click on the A first and then you're going to click on that left bumper and it's going to ask you to back up your selected save. You can go ahead and name it whatever you want as long as you'll be able to find it later. So you should see your save file right there and now we're going to switch over to the file transfer tool. So you're going to open up FTPD. It's going to start up a server so that way you can transfer your data and we're pretty much done with the 3DS so let's move over to the Thor. We're going to need to download an app that allows us to transfer those files wirelessly. So we're going to back out of this and we're going to head over to the Play Store. And you're going to search for RS File Manager. There's other file managers that do this process a little bit better, but they do cost money. So we're just going to go ahead with this one. And after you download it, you're going to open it up. And it's going to go through a couple of things, ask you for some permissions, uh, make sure you allow it to be able to see the files on your system. So first, we're going to create a file so we can put our 3DS saves in. So you're going to click on these three lines here at the top. Go to Internal Storage. And here you get to kind of the root file of your Thor. So in order to create a folder, you're going to go to those three dots here at the top right. And you can click new and new folder. And we're just going to call this 3DS saves. Click OK. And boom, we have our file created. Now we're going to grab those files from our 3DS. So you're going to go back to those three lines here at the top. Scroll down to uh, the network section. You're going to open that up and you're going to click on FTP right here. Now, I already have it there because I've done it before, but we're going to set this up. So you're going to click on these, this plus sign here at the top or the bottom right, and you're going to click on new FTP. And you're going to type in that blue number that's at the top of your 3DS. Now, the next number is going to be your port number. For me, it's 5000, but it's going to be that number that's right after the colon in that blue number at the top of your 3DS. You have to enter a username and a password. It doesn't matter what you put for this section, but we're just going to put user and pass and then you can go ahead and click on OK and it's gonna connect to your 3DS as you navigate through the 3DS you're gonna notice uh, the 3DS screen moving on this side that's a good sign that means that it's connected and you're seeing the current files on your 3DS so we're gonna scroll down until we get to 3DS click on that one and then you're gonna scroll down until you get to checkpoint and this is actually going to be dependent on your game. So for me, it's going to be an X data. But at the beginning, when we were in checkpoint, if you didn't have to click X and you saw your game right away, it should be in saves. But for me, I'm going to click X data and I'm going to find Fantasy Life. I'm going to click on that folder, whatever you named it, and you're going to have some files here. Now, this is also dependent on the game. It could be one file, two files, or as you can see, a bunch of them here. But no matter how many files, you're just going to select all of them and copy them all click copy and now we're gonna put it in that 3ds folder that we made earlier so we're gonna head over here to our internal storage we have 3ds saves I'm just gonna click paste give it a second and it's gonna move all of our files over to the 3ds saves folder All right, so now it's time to open up Azahar and get these files moved over now before we get started make sure you create a save file in the game that you want to transfer it to this is going to actually create the folder so that we can transfer our files from the 3ds all right so now we're ready to transfer our files and here's where it gets a little bit finicky so first you're going to actually open up the file explorer that you use um that, I, that we downloaded earlier so you're going to click on rs file manager and just kind of let it boot up here and then once you get to the screen we can head over to back to azahar and you're going to hold down on the game that you want to transfer your files to. You're going to click on this little symbol here with the folder with the up arrow just like that. And you're going to click on open extra folder. 
Now for some people, it might be open save data folder. That's just dependent on when we're in checkpoint, did you have to click on X to access the save files? Um, if you did, then it's gonna be open extra folder. If not, then it should be in the save data folder up here. So for us, we're gonna click on open extra folder and you're gonna click on the second option here. If you click on the first option, it's gonna say invalid path. So instead, we're just gonna head back to Azahar and we're gonna click on uh, open extra folder again and the second option here. So you click on that one, it's gonna take you to this screen. You're gonna have to go through this process, click on properties, click more, and then you're gonna click on this path. Now, when you go and you press back, it should take you to this screen where you can see a bunch of folders here. You're just gonna click on this last one and then you're gonna go to user. Now, if you have that save file that we created earlier, it should be in here. Um, I've already deleted it. You wanna just go ahead and delete those files because that was the files that we just needed to create this folder. So we don't need them right now. And at the top, we're gonna have these different tabs, right? So we're gonna go to the home screen and make sure you keep that tab open that we uh, made just now. And you're gonna head over to those 3DS saves. So we're gonna go here and internal storage. And we're gonna go to our 3DS saves and you're just gonna select all of these and you're gonna copy them. Now we're gonna head back to our folder where we were at earlier. You should see this kind of long path here at the top. And then on the right, there's this little clipboard over here where you can paste your files. And then once you paste the files, you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and just check and make sure it worked. So we're gonna back out of here. And just to kind of be safe, we're gonna clear everything out. And we're gonna go to 3DS and Fantasy Life. And let's go ahead and boot it up and see if everything went through. Here is our save file from the 3DS. So now we have the full 41 hours of my previous save file. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment section below. Like and subscribe, it's easy. And we'll see you guys next time.